Biden heading out west for the Democrat-friendly terrain of California and also where all the migrants are showing up in San Diego. Hoping to rev up that fundraising machine, the president, and perhaps he wants to reset his public image that he's too old to be president for another four years. So it all started off rocky, literally. Biden's faulty footing will be the least of his worries, though. The media firing off more warning shots of the danger that lies ahead. The ladies of The View are worried if Biden can handle debating Trump. But so we need Biden to... can lose, and he can lose in a debate. Trump will not. The people supporting Trump will support him whether he's there or not. But that's Biden his makes supporters. one mistake, and people that are undecided right. are out. Know... If Biden flubs, yeah. they'll go, be all over him. If Trump flubs, if he doesn't well, show who up, cares? I think it legitimizes him. I don't need to that's be true. gaslit by Trump. We all know who he is. We all know what he stands for. We also know that Biden debated him twice and just like sort of mopped the floor with him. Meanwhile, the New York Times is trying to beef up its image that they'll be as tough on President Biden as they are on Donald Trump. The paper's publisher revealing that the White House is, quote, extremely upset with coverage of Biden's age and unpopularity and adding, quote, we are going to continue to report fully and fairly, not just on Donald Trump, but also on President Joe Biden. Jessica, I mean, to this day, I believe that Hillary Clinton has great disdain for the New York Times yeah. after what happened in 2016. But in this regard, do you think that the ladies of The View are putting their finger on something? And do you think Biden will debate Trump? So I think they're putting their finger on something, but I think that they're at, their conclusion is wrong. Okay. I think that he has to debate. <coughs> I think that you owe the American people that no matter what. And Donald Trump is extremely difficult to debate because it's so unpredictable. And you saw that with Hillary. And this is, I mean, we're going back eight years now that this was happening. And Hillary really top form and an excellent debater. And it was widely considered that she had won those debates. But he throws you off the way that he talks, the kind of things that he's going to say. You have to be witty and quick and also prepared. And agile. Because he's going to throw, yes, physically and mentally. Mm -hmm. And I think that there is a risk that Biden will come off as certainly lower energy and slower, but I think that his content will be crisper. His answers and understanding of the issues, I think he gets them better and he has this record to run on. And if it's a complete disaster, then the American public deserves to see it, right? And you can play down whatever characteristics you think are a problem and play up, you know, whatever arguments you want to make. But if you're going to tell people you're going to go to the ballot box and make one of the most important decisions of your life, which is yeah. what it is when you elect a president every four years and you don't want to stand there for 90 minutes, I don't think that's great. Charlie, so take yourself back to the White House briefing room, right? I, I don't think we ever had too many tussles, you and me. But that... <laughs> Thing is that the Biden team is trying to work the refs here, right? Yes. Every president does that. But what I think is interesting is that now the reporters are reporting on the fact that the Biden team is trying to work the refs. Yeah. And a lot of people who work in this current administration were junior staffers during the Obama years when the press was so nice. They're like, oh, my gosh, the president tied his shoes correctly. That was amazing. <laughs> so now, all of a sudden, they're surprised that there's actual questions and pushback. Do you think it will be effective or has the media been given permission to go for it which of course is when all of this began it was the it was the deifying of obama that caused so many in the press to completely you know surrender any pretenses that they're going to uh, cover politics fairly uh to the point where the washington post and the new york times have become only fan sites for like wacko left wing people who hate donald trump and now that that uh some of their material is sort of uh fading uh they're they're uh struggling but um, anytime a, uh, a, a reporter is boasting about how mad somebody is at them, it's mm -hmm. usually because they're in bed with that person and they're trying to, like, sort of boost themselves with their colleagues in the press. Um, but the problem, of course, uh, is that, and, and I think it's interesting what you said, Jessica, that, and, and I hope that they do debate, that, but the argument that, uh, that we've heard from the Biden administration and others is that, no, Donald Trump is, is uh, delegitimized, therefore we don't have to debate right. him. And now the truth is coming out very clearly. That's not the reason they don't, that Joe Biden doesn't want to debate him. The reason they don't want to debate him is because they're afraid Joe Biden is going to take it in the shorts if right. he does debate him. But then one last final thing that I think is important is that obviously this, you know, debates are all about 
uh, managing those expectations. And of course, Democrats want to lower those expectations yeah. as far as possible, so that if, if you know Joe Biden doesn't fall down on his face in the middle of the debate, he won't. it'll be a, exactly. <laughs> um, he was asked today if he needed somebody in California to be standing by. Watch him here. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Well, I'm looking for I'm looking at you. I don't know what that is. Trying to make a joke and saying it. But anyway, the press is asking. I am deeply offended by the view. Okay? They say, you know, don't debate Trump because the platform gives legitimacy. Well, how about the view who gives their legitimacy on their platform to descendants of slave owners? <laughs> right? On that table, they have descendants of slave owners at the table. Sonny Hostin, check your privilege, okay? I'm just disgusted. I don't, I, I don't, I'm speechless. But this all kind of sounds familiar, okay? So we knew that they were going to say Trump's arguments are so poisonous they cannot be heard. The networks were doing this. We're not going to show Donald Trump. We're not going to, they cut him off and then when he's talking about immigration, even though he was correct. But it's not about, like, suppressing poisonous ideas. It's about suppressing Trump because he wins over voters and they know that, Biden's going to lose. They did the same thing with conservative speakers on campus, right? They did the same thing with opinions on election fraud or COVID, which were banned on social media. They suppressed the laptop, which is every bit as real as Biden's grandkid, which they suppressed as well, <laughs> yeah. right? And then they used lawfare to suppress Trump, either to get him off ballots or to keep him so busy that he can't actually campaign. But I'm, I'm with Jessica on this. If Trump is so bad then surely he'll sink himself. So let him debate. You know, why not? What are you scared of? And it goes back to what Charlie said. This isn't about that. It's about the fact that Biden is going to be, he, he couldn't do a three-minute Super Bowl interview. You think he's going to stand up during the debate? 90 minutes. They're going to have to do, they're doing work right now for State of the Union, and that's weeks away. The other thing that happened is that there's not all the media is saying that they're in trouble with the White House. Here's this from the <laughs> New York Times was an op-ed that said Kamala Harris is not a liability. She may be Democrats' best <laughs> weapon. And I would really love to interview this guy to find out what sort of bomb shelter he's been living in. Yeah, he's, he, he could be a bomb shelter. He could be under a rock or he could not be that smart. I mean, it, look, Kamala, if, if you have to rely on Kamala, I mean, you just as well hand over the uh, the keys to the kingdom now. But I, I focused on what Greg fo focused on, and that was Sonny Hostin, basically <laughs> saying that you can't have Joe uh, debate Donald Trump because it legitimizes Donald Trump and gives him a platform. So what do they have to do? The Democrats have to delegitimize whomever they want to debate. So Hillary got questions about the debate from who was it? Donna Brazil. OK, so they were able to delegitimize there. And then Joe Biden got uh, Anthony Blinken to get those uh, uh, intelligence officers to say that the laptop was uh, disinformation, Russian disinformation, so they could have a, an answer for Joe Biden to delegitimize Donald Trump. No, the only person who's gaslighting is Joe Biden. He's gaslighting about his son's laptop that no one took money from a Chinese-connected uh, uh, Communist Party. He told us the border was secure. He, he said that the, uh, the the special counsel brought up her when we now know that he brought up Bo. He lied to us about Bo dying in Iraq when we all know he died in a hospital. I mean, talk about gaslighting. This guy, every time he opens his mouth, I have an anxiety attack that he's going to say something that's not true or he's going to fall as he was stumbling up, at, up the uh, uh, Air Force One. Look, Joe Biden, when he gets on stage, is a deer in the headlights, and nobody's home. You just look at him this week. I saw it. It's pathetic. It's horrible. And yet the team in the White House, they listen to Axelrod. They can listen to Carville. And their opinion is, look, we won the midterms. We're going to be great. We really don't need your two cents. And uh, we keep winning over and over again. And, uh, you know, we're going to continue to work the way we're working with okay. winner Joe. Dana? Yeah. Kamala Harris is a secret weapon the way a nuclear missile is, right? We don't want to use it because it will destroy everything, so let's stick to the conventional destruction of Joe Biden. That's the... That's you the see play. that? That's mutual that's assured play. destruction. Exactly. <laughs> M-A-D. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it 
anywhere else.